to anyone that voted for her over the past 10 to 15 years, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a senator from California, Dianne Feinstein, passing away at age 90. Now, before I go any further, may she rest in peace and prayers out to her family. However, Dianne Feinstein has been in decline for a very long time. She should have not been in office at all. There is no excuse for her to be there. And she just voted like last night. There was a video of her that went viral where her aides were telling her, just go ahead and vote. Yay. Like, don't even give no speech or nothing like that. Just vote. And let's have that be that. It funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay. Just Aye. Thank you. When I saw that, I was like, you know what? This is this is crazy. She's not really here. It's only a matter of days until she dies. And here we are. Here we are. Now, remember this picture that I showed you at the very beginning of the video. This was her after a medical episode. I forgot exactly what happened. I don't know if she fell. I forgot what it was. You guys let me know what happened before this picture in the comments, but they literally were wheeling her back into Washington, D.C. to go be a senator still. It's like, do you not see her condition right here? Term limits at a certain point has got to be a real thing. And if not term limits, at least medical limits. She's not going to pass any kind of physical. Well, she wouldn't have before she passed away. There, there's no way she should have been in office. Okay. I think we all knew that she was going to pass away in a very short period of time at age 90 in poor health. And now here we are. Here we are. Now, there's a lot I want to get into because Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, has, um, you know, he has some work to do to appoint someone in her place. And he's already kind of signaled who or what kind of person, if you catch my drift, that he's going to replace Miss Feinstein with. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and check out a news clip. If you want to see the clip and all the articles and whatnot, of course, everything will always be in the description box. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. We have breaking news. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein of California has passed away. She was the oldest sitting member of Congress, serving 30 years in the United States Senate. And by the way, there are quite a few other very old senators, congressmen, etc. Our president is very old. At a certain point, it's like, all right, I understand you want people to have experience and all this and that and the third. But if you're about to be 100 years old and you're in poor health, can you not? <laughs> can you not? I mean, come on, let's keep on going. Feinstein is held by many for her historic firsts. She was the first woman to chair the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and later the first woman to serve as a top Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee. She was the first woman president of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, the first woman mayor of San Francisco and the first woman elected senator of California. And you know, else is very old in California in San Fran. Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi, I think, is right around Dianne Feinstein's age. I believe she's 86 or so years old. And if I'm wrong, y'all let me know in the comments below. And fun fact, uh, Nancy Pelosi is Gavin Newsom's aunt. So that makes him her nephew. But anyway, I digress. Um, Nancy Pelosi was, I believe, an adult and attended JFK's inauguration. If I can find that picture, I will link to it in the box. You guys can find it. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. She was at JFK's inauguration, and Nancy Pelosi is younger than Dianne Feinstein. Her major legislative record includes the federal assault weapon ban, which she championed in 1994, and her five-year review of the CIA's detention and interrogation programs. Oh, a gun grabber? Yay. Okay, fantastic uh, accomplishment. <laughs> Senator Feinstein was recently hospitalized after she fell in her home last month. Her aides described the incident as a minor slip 
as of now, no reports on how the senator died. So she is 90 years old, fell in her home last month, and now she's gone. Uh, we can't just put two and two together. Maybe her age and then for her to be that old and to fall and to get hospitalized, maybe that contributed to her passing away. Maybe all those factors, brought, you know, kind of weighed in. Senator Dianne Feinstein was 90 years old, confirmed by NBC and also, as you said, local outlets in San Francisco. Okay, so there you have it. That's the, the news brief. But check it out. Your main, your main man, Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, Nancy Pelosi's nephew, he has um, some work to do here. He needs to replace Dianne Feinstein with an appointment. And I think the way it works, and if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, the way it works is Gavin Newsom will be able to appoint her replacement. Then there's going to be um, a special election or something like that to actually put someone in there that the people vote for rather than just an appointment from the governor. So he's previously said that he's going to select a black woman to go in her space because Diane Feinstein obviously has been in decline for a very long time. So the question about, Hey, if she's not able to continue, if she dies in office, who are you going to replace her with? This reminds me of the whole Joe Biden thing. When he was asked during his, uh, his presidency, his, his, his campaign in 2020, Hey, who's going to be your VP pick? Are you going to pick a black woman? That was a thing that he had to promise to do. And then he selected Kamala Harris, who's black ish, I suppose, you know, she's kind of multiracial like Vin Diesel or something like that. You could be put in any kind of role and succeed as a so-called person of color and not necessarily just a black person, but I'm getting too far off the trail, so I digress. Let's look at the headline here. This is on Daily Mail. All eyes on Gavin Newsom on who will replace Dianne Feinstein. California governor faces a tough decision to quickly choose new senator and has already vowed to pick a black woman. So some of the subheads, Feinstein died at 90 after a series of health problems. Newsom said previously he has multiple names in mind. He told MS-13 DNC, I mean MSNBC, he would name a black woman to the seat. Now, here's what could happen. Um, You have possibly an outgoing president in Joe Biden. Also, Nancy Pelosi, many others have not said with confidence that Kamala Harris will be the VP pick, or they've not said, that she's a good VP pick. So here's what could happen. Kamala Harris could say, you know, I'm caught to go back to California to replace uh, Miss Feinstein. Because remember, wasn't Kamala Harris a senator from California before she became the vice president? She was an attorney general and then a senator, right? So she could go back to being a senator in California, either through appointment by Newsom, which it might not happen with Newsom because she's still currently the vice president. So she wouldn't, leave the vice presidency to become a senator right now, but she could become a senator after her time as VP is over with. And in the meantime, they may appoint just some random person. We're going to see how that whole thing goes. All right. So he has already been direct speaking about Gavin Newsom, about who he will designate a black woman. Vice president Kamala Harris is one of just two black women to serve in the Senate during its history. And Newsom said flat out, in the event of a vacancy, he would name another one. I have multiple names in mind. We have multiple names in mind. And the answer is yes. He told MSNBC host Joy Reid in March when asked if he would nominate a black woman. Now, the question is, who would they pick? There are multiple black women in California politics to choose from. One of them, Barbara Lee, is already running for that seat, complicating matters. Others include L.A. Mayor Karen Bass, another former member of Congress, she was elected to the post only last year. So that might happen. Um, who? Uh, let's see. Secretary of State Shirley Weber, L.A. County Supervisor Holly Mitchell, and San Fran Mayor London Breed. London Breed could be a pick, but she's San Fran Mayor. That's a pretty, that's a pretty big role. So maybe it would be somebody like, uh, I don't know, Barbara Lee, but she's already running for the seat. Who knows? Who knows who they're going to pick, but regardless of what's going on, 
there will be a black woman in the seat because Gavin Newsom already promised it. And since he has eyes for the 2024 presidency, he wants to do something like that to gain favor the same way Joe Biden did by having Kamala Harris as his VP pick. And you know what else Gavin could do as I close? What Gavin could do is appoint a black woman to fill that seat for now until the special election. And he could also have a black female VP. Same as Joe Biden. That might be the all, all the rage in Democratic politics going forward. Hey, have, have the white male be the, the leader and then the black female be the VP. That might be what they do. But as I close, I want to say this. Diane Feinstein, 90 years old, fell, had a serious injury, and then just a few weeks later, she's gone. This is shameful. This is ridiculous. You got to have term limits. And also, not just term limits, but no, like a medical screening, maybe get a physical. Maybe if you had a traumatic brain injury, uh, John Fetterman, maybe you shouldn't be a senator. Maybe if you're 90 years old and you got to be instructed by your aides on how to vote, because you're not really in a sound state of mind. Maybe you shouldn't be a senator. Maybe you shouldn't be a house rep. Maybe you shouldn't be the president, Joe Biden, falling all over the place, forgetting where he's at, forgetting names. This is pretty ridiculous and embarrassing, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your thoughts on Dianne Feinstein passing away and still being in office and voting just last night? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Um, RIP to her, prayers out to her family, but come on, man. Like, at a certain point, she shouldn't have been in office at all. At least for the past 15 years, it was obvious that this lady was not suitable to be there. And there are quite a few more people just like her in office right now, on the left, maybe even on the right as well. I don't really care about the political affiliation, but good grief. I mean, can we have functional human beings who are 100% sound of mind and body in government? Is that too much to ask? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.